YouTube, YouTube, welcome to Aquas. Won't stop, can't stop following Yahshua HaMashiach. Let's chit chat a little. I got time on my hands and the Holy Spirit gave me so many, has given me so many downloads. I can get a few off today because my delivery is, is a little slow on this end today, which is great because who wants to be going fast all their life? No one. Being slow is great as well. Well, I got patience. So that's one thing the Father really has strengthened me in is patience. Patience is a must because you never know what area of your life you're going to need them for but i'm gonna go into maca i hope i'm saying that right i have a weird way of saying words i love it though as long as you understand what i'm saying um maca seven and let's go to five trust ye not in a friend put ye not confidence in a god in a God, like, you know, a God, G-U-I-D-E, I hope I'm saying this right, right, a God. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore, I will look up up unto the Lord. I will wait for the God Elohim of my salvation. My Elohim will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemies, when I fall. I shall arise when I set in darkness. The Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my case, my cause. Till he, until he plead my cause and execute and execute my judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Okay, let's get with what I, what this verse mean. First, we all got to repent through every and anything we have did against our father which arts in heaven let's chit chat a little let's get this workout working out i know you're sweating but that's what you want to do i know you're sweating within your heart pounding but this will be the best workout ever in internally i works out internally that's what i'm called to do a lot of people is being gunned down by loved ones and i mean literally gunned down but you're still living but you're dead inside because you don't expect ones that say they love you or ones that call themselves people you can trust in you sitting and you pouring out all your love you trying to explain yourself to them loved ones mothers fathers children grandparents great grandparents best friends friends who, whatever is close to you as you just read as i just read to you and you can go and read it yourself maka uh seven five through nine but what he said what the word said and what the father have have had written when he said that in verse six, a man's enemy are the men of his own house. That is deep. I always speak on it. A lot of people don't get hurt from strangers. People you just say, hey, how you doing in the streets? No, you don't get hurt from those type of people. They don't have no reason to hurt you. They probably going through some hurt or they hurting. It's, it's vice versa. It's either one. We have many people that hurt. We have many people play victim. We have many people manipulate. We have many people accumulate hurt. 
And I'm smiling because one thing Satan forgets. And he also have ones that love to hurt others because they get a kick out of it. And of course, you know, you're attached to some demonic forces. One thing Satan and his friends, they don't forget. But one thing they have souls forgetting that do these trifling things, filthy things, is that it don't last forever. Tables do turn. As the scriptures say, first shall be last, last shall be first. Tables turn. That's the way the Father got it set up. We all have sinned. We all have fallen short. And that's in Romans. And I will put it in the description box. We all have fell short. I don't care if you're a Jew. I don't care if you're a Jew. I don't care if you're a Greek. I don't care if you're a uh, Hebrew. I mean, well, Hebrew is a, a Jew. I don't care if you're a Gentile. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. Chinese, Japanese, Hispanic. I don't care who you are. You are the father's. And if you don't follow him, I don't care about your Buddha. I don't care about none of that extra stuff you, you pray to. That's on you. But I hope you get it off of you and get with the gospel. I don't care who you are. It don't matter because when the, and I, and I just can't wait for this. When the four angels be on all four corners of the universe preaching the gospel, when the two witnesses come, I'm just excited, you know, because I'm growing in the spirit and I'm learning so much. Like, whoo! And and the two witnesses, it's a lot of debate about them. But in my head, I think it's Moses and Elijah. I think so. I think so. I mean, I I'm not saying who you don't think, whatever. But I think so. And it's a strong, strong, strong belief in my spirit because if you look at it. And then I'm going to get back to what I'm saying is Moses, he parted uh, through the father, the father through Moses parted the Red Sea and Elijah, he had this jacket that when he hit the um, the sea, it departed and him and uh, Elijah, I mean, Elisha, they walked right through the, um, through the water, you know, they parted it. And when them children was um, mocking um, Elijah, bears came out and just ate them up you know like it's it's is the works through those men then you got enoch then you got oh man you got ezekiel uh isaiah you know jeremiah like it's just so it's it's just so much but moses body wasn't filmed Elijah, he got lifted up. Enoch got lifted up. So it's it's like, and then when you go into the New Testament, when Yahshua HaMashiach was conversating with Moses and Elijah, Elias, you know, it's like, you know, it, it's just so fascinating with the word. It's, it's a mystery, but when those two witnesses come, believe me, you don't want to play. The four angels on all four corners of the universe. And the word even says some people still won't believe. Honey, what will it take for to get these souls where y'all need to be? Because these days are coming. These days are unfolding by the hour, by the second, by the minute. You feel me? We are awakening. We are awakening to bring forth the truth. We know you want, okay, it's fine to have talents. You have some talents. But make sure you got that true talent, getting your soul together, fighting against that wicked one so you can get your heart back. I'm always, I always, I always, they hear me now, I always strive to keep saying, get your heart back. I always, I always press this issue, get your heart back so you can come back to the true love. And that is the father and son. Oh, you're going to have scoffers. Oh, there's many scoffers. They'll be in my in my little comment box. I don't care. I delete. Disappear. You're nothing over here. We are not afraid. We are not afraid to die. We're not going to die and go to hell and stay there. We're dying for the cause of Yahshua HaMashiach. We're dying for his cause. Not because somebody feeling like they got the... um. 
we got the, we owe them something. No, we not we not um afraid of that. We don't owe anybody anything. We only owe our father and son. Our father gave us life. Our father is our creator. Yahshua HaMashiach went on the cross for us. Everybody, not just the Jews, those were his people, they turned against him. He was walking in those villages and in those countries trying to get his people, his people turned right against him. All they wanted was miracles. It's in the gospel and I will put it in the description box. And that's what Satan got y'all doing the same thing. If you, any other name is a fine name. You can say any other name. But when you say Yahshua HaMashiach, and I got to deliver it to you, just work with me. When you say Yahshua HaMashiach, it seemed like everybody world falls apart. Like everybody world falls apart. Like, don't say that name. Don't you say that name. That name ain't never hurt not one soul. He even was killed without a cause. And this is what's going on inside of the homes. Many children are being gunned down because I got to move up. So just work with me. I got an order, so I got to type it in that I'm, I accept it. Many children are gunned down due to parents grandparents friends co-workers loved ones anyone that desire to get close to you or sent by satan to do damage to you you're getting gunned down internally words when you're not strong within and words are being thrown at you because you know it's many words can come out of a mouth as Paul say in Romans I think you want to say Romans 3 but I'm going to put it in there our mouths are like an open sepulcher with much cursing and deceit come out of it, words words move more than bullets yes bullets in this natural world is going real loud but words is shooting out more than bullets. Your young children that supposed to be up under parents' cares. You are shooting your children down because you are aggravated, irritated that the situation that came about in your life is not going well. So you're allowing Satan to just come at your kids, blame your kids for this. Blame your kids for that. If I never laid with your daddy, I would have never had him. Or if I never laid with your mama, you would have never been up. You know what you're laying with. I don't know why, as souls, we allow Satan to move our minds like we got to blame somebody. You sound like your first parents, Adam and Eve, playing the blame game. No, you did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. No, Father, you did it. You gave me her, Father. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. You're not discerning because you are empty inside. You are dead. You're gunned down by many words. Words are deadly, especially when you got young children under your roof and you're feeding them all these negative words. That stuff is being implanted. It's shooting down their spirits. But then you get around folks and you smile and you, oh, my house is so peaceful. Oh, my house is so loving. And you got the kids where they're in fear to speak out about it. Well, don't fear. And then your kids speak out about it. Nobody's listening. Well, guess what? The father is always opening. The father phone ways is always open to hear. Your pastor he might not be available. He might be out on a honeymoon or he might be out doing something toxic. Guess what? The father phone lines is always open. 
He's just waiting for you to call him. Oh, he's waiting. Your mama, your daddy might not want to listen to you. They might throw you to the wolves, throw you to granny and granny, grandpa. Guess what? The father phone lines is always open for your call. Because granny and grandpa treating you wrong or mom or dad or stepdad or sometimes children can mistreat their parents because their parents so loving. It can go either way. The word states it. The, we supposed to not be disobedient to our parents and parents should not be provoking us to anger. It goes both ways. But it's a lot of parents and a lot of people that like innocence of little children, like they can always intimidate them all their life. You gonna be removed. And the enemy sitting right in your own home. That's why there's a lot of people being molested. A lot of people being abused. I talked to a, some, I was doing a delivery yesterday and it was a young man and a, a young lady there. They, one was a cashier and one was a bagger. And, the Holy Spirit moves in so, he's so supernaturally loving. And he moves in a way you don't even see it coming. That's why I love to wake up every day because I don't know what's going to happen. But when it do happen, it blows my mind on a real. And it's hard to blow my mind. But my spiritual family, they just blows my mind. I'm just so excited about it. But anyways, uh, <laughs> um, that, uh, the little guy, he was he's like 17. He was negative. And I asked him, I was like, why are you so negative? Not knowing the Holy Spirit got me in this situation. And he was like, they know the girl, she was like 18. She was like, he always negative. And I asked him, I said, what happened to you in your lifetime? And he started pouring out. As soon as he started pouring out how his dad abuses him, his dad beat him, how him and his dad got fighting on a cruise, how his dad get drunk and just whip him up. Then the girl started pouring out. She was like, yeah, well, don't feel bad. My dad, he uh, bust my lip. He bust my head. He broke something on her body or whatever, whatever. She's like, she started fighting him back. And I was like, you know what? Y'all should not even be in that situation. I said, I was in that situation once when I was a child too. I was like, but fighting your parents back is not going to be the way. She was like, well, what else we supposed to do? She was like, my dad get drunk and get on drugs. He come in and he just abused me. He beats me literally. I mean, like put marks on her, bust her up, bust her head, bust her lips, blacken her eye. And I'm like, you know, Satan is using the ones that say they love you to crucify you. He is trying to crucify humanity. Crucify yourself. Pick up the cross and follow Hamashiach. Period. Hamashiach crucified himself. They did not crucify him. And see, loved ones are gang up on you. Oh, they'll gang up on you. When you walk different and they all walk in one, they're going backwards and you going forward. Oh, they'll gang up on you. But you, you stand. Our king, Yahshua HaMashiach, he stood when the whole multitude, when that whole congregation of people was against him. He said, this will got to be done. He didn't want to do it at first. But he said, Father, your will shall be done. He got up. They came and got him. And that's when the massive, brutal beating that the one with the greater sin brought forth to him. Everybody turned against him. His own people. His own people. They seen the signs and wonders. They seen the miracles. But guess what? Satan was big mad. Because as it's saying in Genesis, Adam and Eve offspring is going to crush the scorpion's head. Who is the, who's the offspring? Yahshua HaMashiach. And that's why when souls get to the point where they say they don't even like to hear the word Jesus or Yahshua HaMashiach or that's a man-made book or da-da-da-da, guess what? There's Satan behind them and you rebuke them. 
If you're scared to rebuke them in the opening, rebuke them in silence. But the father said, just remain silent because he'll take care of it. He loves his children. He loves us dearly. And people will pay. It's sad to say, and I tell the father all the time, all those people that hurt me, father, don't, don't repay them back. Don't pay them back. I forgive them. I just, the only repay I want them to do is repent, turn away from themselves, and, and confess their sins and start walking with Yahshua Hamashi on the daily. That's the only thing. Now, when they get out of control, I detach because some people are really, really dark. That is no coming back. Some people just don't come back. You can't sit around and wait for them to come back or wishing that they're going to change. There is no such thing because there is going to be souls staying in Hades and cast into the lake of fire. It's just so sad to say that. But if you got a heart and you still got life in that heart, go get your heart. Love your children. Take your responsibilities on. Just because your grandparents broke you down because your mama left you with your grandma and grandma uh, big mad, but she's going to take you anyway because she wants some control because if she don't get no control, them demons going to eat her up. Same thing for grandpa. While mom and daddy run around in the streets just doing what they're doing, leaving their children unattended. Guess what? Just because they left you. The father phone lines is always open. He sleeps nor slumbers. Don't be, don't sit around and be crying. They isolate their children. Young children isolated can't go outside to play because it's dangerous out there. Guns everywhere where you got guns coming out your mouth because you're isolating me. You're shooting me down every day I come home. I don't even want to be home. I don't even want to come home. Children committing suicide and they're blaming it on schools, but it's in the homes. Grandparents, grandmama, Jezebel still sitting on their lines. Grandpa, Sal Solomon still sitting on their lines. The spirits. Mom and dad, Satan just using them. All the demons having fun with them. We don't want that no responsibilities. I couldn't capture the man I wanted. Now this baby, I don't care about it no more because that baby was just a use. No, you're not use. You are worthy. Just because your mama cast you away. Just because your daddy cast you away. Just because your grandparents shooting you down. Gunning you down every day. Just because your step parents gunning you down every day. Guess what? You pray to the father so he can lift up them guns. And turn them back on them and gun them down. Because that's what's going to happen. The father will not let anyone hurt his children. And if you the one hurting and out here in the world acting victim, that gun is going to turn around on you. I don't know how serious you take the spiritual world, but it's real. It ain't no lie. The father ain't going to write something and lie about it. That's not, he's not man. He is our almighty father. And for the ones that got so big, so many problems with Yahshua HaMashiach, baby, he good. He real good. You the one got to get good. See, our Jesus Christ, I'm going to say it in English term, our Jesus Christ is good. He real good. He did his purpose. He completed his mission. Is you going to complete yours? Are you trying to complete yours? It ain't about no fame and glory because ain't nobody got none. His name's his name is higher than all names. These YouTube channels like I'm on right now, this ain't nothing for him. This, this can't compare to him. I'm trying to help folks. No, he already helped us. He already helped us. We are called to help others to come to the kingdom and get you there and leave you there and you take it on. We ain't come to babysit. I ain't no ambassador to babysit. I don't babysit. I get you where you need to go and you start walking. Now, if you got a little issue about it, I don't, I don't mind helping you. But other than that, I'm not holding your hand the whole time. You scared to walk. Walk. Like Joshua told the man, pick up your bed and walk. And sin no more. Period. I love each and every one of you. My spirit is on fire today. It's like... 
It's on fire, you heard me? But I love each and every one of you. You're not worthless and you're not useless. You are a diamond forever. Peace.